Ugh. Hold on, wait. I have to. I have to. Uh. Um. I have to turn this down a little bit. No, not. Okay. YouTube not be difficult for me to turn down. Yeah, for the right as I said that. Hello. Oh, hi, zombie. You did, you, hi. You did that right as you said that. What? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I think I'm don't gonna worry about, worry about, it, worry about it, but like about everything, it. I'm just not gonna <laughs> care. Walls. Walls. Um. <clears throat> right. Sorry. Uh. Hi. God. I don't know how to start this. It's Hello. Been, it's, it's been a minute since we've done a, the one verse. Um. From where we last the left one? off, you all had approached a large castle that stood before you. Um, that was basically it. Sasha didn't really like go anywhere else. You guys just kind of were in front of it, and then I was like, "Yeah, we're gonna end the session here." You know, I didn't really um, do anything else with that. So I guess I should ask: Did did the gang decide to investigate this castle? I believe we did. Well, <clears throat> I guess I guess we'll just jump right in then. No, yeah. no introductions. Fuck introductions. Yeah. Fuck you, chat. Are, are Sorry. Are you sure we can't just go around it? Like, are you... No, no, we could go around it, but where's the fun in that? Uh, all right. You all... Also, I'm pretty sure the way out is in the castle, so is that too. True, but yeah. Um, you all walk up to the front door. It's too... This door is two large uh, wooden doors with these large metal rings that act as almost handles and knockers on the door at the same time, you know, to, 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 to you know, without using your hand. Uh, d does anyone knock the door? Knock on does the anyone door. Knock on, does knock anyone on, knock the door? Knock, knock on knock. the door. Yeah, I just knocked the door. I'm going to knock the door. Knock, knock. Does anyone knock? Anyone grabbing the knockers? Everyone, everyone's racing to knock the door. <laughs> yeah, everyone <laughs> rolled to knock on the door. Well, not the door. <laughs> knock, knock. Knock. Everyone make a dexterity check. Just okay. I'm missing a token. On I got a 38. Why? No, we're oh, not well, that's rolling. Not. We're not rolling to <laughs> knock on the door. Yeah, we're gonna roll to see who can <laughs> no, the door first. No, we're not. I got 311. You did not get a 311. <laughs> I think you're. I think you just. I think you just lied. And now we're gonna roll to see who gets the door. No, I'm Okay. Okay. No, I got three hundred eleven. Who's uh? Who's who's knocking on the door? Is it is, if anyone? Everyone. <laughs> Everyone. We're all, exactly you're all. Right. You're all we're, just reaching Aaron, for the handles. Aaron, we're, Aaron we're, is not. <laughs> we're um, all going to knock on the door simultaneously. Okay, ready? One. I'm going to knock Aaron against the door. Knock knock. Uh, a cacophony of. <laughs> um, of various knocking sounds ring out as some of you grab the handles of the door to knock. Some of you okay. just start hitting it, and it sounds like. Uh, how how long does this go on for? Probably like a second or two. Oh yeah, well it's just the one little knock knock. Mm -hmm. Ar Arcus Arcus is doing like one of those little like uh. You do when you knock it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just gonna musical with his knock. Yeah. Yeah. Knock, 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 knock. Um. Yeah, that's just so much better person. <laughs> after a moment, you see as uh you oh hear God. what sounds like these footsteps. You know the sound of like um. I cannot rem like describe this sound. But, like, the sound of, like, heels walking in a stone hallway with echoes, like a duh, duh, duh. I can't... Yeah, yeah, that was that was perfectly described, just to okay. say that. Yeah, yeah, the sound of, like, it sounds like someone in heels walking down a long hallway with a duh, duh, duh. It's clearly whoever's walking toward the door has this loud echo uh, to them. And you see as the doors begin to slowly creak open inward. Um... Let me grab the. Is it this one? I, I, I feel like we should have. Um, about okay, no. Say. You hear. You see the doors slowly creak open, and before you, is a gnome. 
uh, like about about two foot tall, wearing this little uh blue robe, and he's got he's got this like br brown haired buzz cut, lighter skinned, and you know he he puts his hands together and goes, oh we welcome welcome to the emotion on we, are you here to visit? I'm trying so hard to not make a joke. He, he's like looking up at all of you, blinking at you. Yes. I'm trying so hard not to make a joke, and only like one person's gonna get it in this fucking PC. If there are like any he's signs that Arcus, like if there are any signs in character that Arcus is looking like he's gonna do a joke, <laughs> Lewis is like putting his like hand over. <laughs> he's like putting his hand over like. Marcus is like your torso, like kind of like I don't know how to describe it. Just like holding it, just like don't don't do that. Have it. Come on. <laughs> we're we're here to uh, visit. Oh, well, that is good. That is good. Uh, let me direct you to the uh, to the reception, and we can uh, find out where you are looking to stay. Yeah, or are you looking to s simply pass through? after you visit. Well, pass through? Well, I'm sure you would love to see what we have to offer, no? He like, blinks at you again. Blink, blink, blink. Yes. This is like looking at literally anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> he, um... He he steps to the side and like pull uh, and like motions his arm out to like uh, to tell you to like come in. Followed by him going, "Come in, come in, please. It uh, it is not uh, any trouble. I I promise." Arcus is making sure this mask is affixed to his face. Um, <laughs> before coming in. Uh, understood. Let's go. Yep. Does everyone uh, go in? Yes. Yeah, so. to the walls. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> <the> wall. <laughs> um, this little gnome kind of uh, walks you through uh, the front lobby. You see like a lounge area to your right, and to the left of you, you get a glimpse of another room. There's no one in there. You can't hear any sound. But the room is just trashed, covered in spilled food, broken plates. While the rest of this place looks cleaned and maintained, this room specifically looks as if, though, a fight broke out in it. Uh, everyone make me a perception check as you walk by this room. Except Blue. Sorry, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> It's a visual detail. You can't, uh, you, you can't see. <laughs> what is it? Perception? Yeah. That's, hey, an, uh, that's an 11. For, 11. For the Arcus. Ah, uh, 22. What is it again? I forgot. Perception. 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 Okay, perception. perception. Okay, perception. perception. That's, that's a 4. Uh, 10 Perfect. for me. Oh, that's cool. So many people spoke at once. I Can we go over <laughs> what everybody got? Okay. Arcus. 11. Augustine. 10. Arendal. It's 22. Um, uh, Kitoko. Sorry, I don't know why I fumbled on your name for a second. Also 22. It's Kiwi. Moose. Or. Uh, Air only, is... only Arendal and, um, Kitoko notice as you walk by the room. The, the others can obviously see it's trashed. The two of you can see not weapons, but blood on some things. There's like shards of plates that are tinted a bit red, like someone got blood on it and then wiped it off. There's some blood splatters on the red couches in there. There's not a single piece of furniture or cloth in this room that isn't red, except for the floor, which is um, wooden boards on the ground. Um, this It does seem as if, though, a bloody 
fight took place here. However, you don't see any bodies, or at least where bodies might be hidden in this room. The tablecloth is too short for them to just be shoved under the table, and, well, there's not any bodies visible. I don't know why I specified that, but okay. Do you do anything with this information? As you're being led to the front desk? Uh, I'll take a sec. Hello. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Something's happened. Blue, <laughs> <Huh? laughs> you see? <laughs> okay, for for context in chat, Arendal just sent an image in uh one of our channels that's just like a fucked up image of like a dining room. <laughs> and it's just captioned blue, you see this. Blue, you see this. You see this. Wow. You see this. We're, letting, we're letting blue see. Wow. I mean, yeah, yeah, blue, it's important. Blue doesn't does indeed see that. But yeah, do you do anything with the information that it looks like a bloody fight occurred in this room? Uh, not at this moment. Okay. And all? <sighs> I mean... Not the kind of thing I want to mention while our host is still here. Maybe once they've gone. Alright. Um... You see as the little, the little, uh, the little gnome, the little man, uh, guides you across the carpet, um, the checkered floor all the way up to what looks to be a front desk. You see, ignore the chairs on the map. I steal all of these maps. There's just the one. Uh, you see another gnome kind of turn around in his chair after facing the other way on another table, writing away on some documents. He turns around and looks similar to the uh, gnome that led you in, except he's a little darker skin tone wise. He's wearing a red uh, robe instead of the blue one. He's got this nice, um, black hair that's, you know, a little more buzz cut, like the one that led you in. And, uh, he turns over to you and goes, Oh, hello, are you here to... to stay? The other gnome is quiet. The... he, he kind of leaves at this point, taking you to the front desk. <laughs> Nobody knows what to say. J just passing th through... Yeah, yes, just, um, just passing. Would you at least like to hear what we have to offer here on the Emotion Ennui? <laughs> yes. Goody, goody. So, we have multiple rooms here that are designed to completely <laughs> remove certain emotions from your body. Um, Pardon? We have magical rooms here where if you stay in them for a day, sometimes an hour, depending on how much you have inside of you, we can completely remove your ability to feel a certain emotion. We have a special creature which you can see eat the emotions downstairs if you'd like. And can I think real hard if I've ever heard of something like this before? <laughs> uh, yeah. Roll me history. That's 21. You have definitely heard stories of demons who eat emotions from their victims. They use it as a sort of sustenance, and often when deals are made with this kind of demon whose name you can't entirely remember, but, you know, you know they exist. They typically ask for the emotion of someone, usually a positive one, like happiness or excitement or anticipation. They even do technically have the ability to remove any sense of adrenaline from a person, the emotion related to it, not the bodily chemical. But you do definitely know of... A creature that can eat emotions, as the receptionist has just told you about. Cool. Arcus is gonna turn so he can see everyone in his sightline. 
like the, the party and tell them all of that telepathically. <laughs> <laughs> and then turn back to the guy. Uh, I, I don't think a stay would be necessary. Oh, well, at least just one night. We are working on repairs to the bridge out back in order to cross the river. So, I mean, wait, is there a river on this map? I think, I, yeah, there's a river. Um, Sorry, what? Anyways. I, 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 I forgot if there was a river for a second. I thought there was, but I forgore. We are working on the repairs for the bridge, so at least a little while. You can also just relax in the lounge room if you wish to wait. It is... Um, oh. uh, perhaps I'll have to consult with the rest of my friends. Um, I... But I don't think a stay in a room would be necessary. Oh, this is fine. We have rooms that do not eat your emotions as well, if you would like to partake. <laughs> Uh, I think this is something for us to consult each other with. Of course, of course. Take your time. Take your time. Can, 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 I, can I insight on the rooms that don't take your emotions? Uh, like if he's lying about that? Yeah. Yeah, you can insight on that. Okay, cool. I got a 20, um, which is a 19. <laughs> he, he seems to be telling the truth about that, that there are rooms here that don't eat your emotions. That's nice. Have fun. That's all I got from that information. That's all I got. That's, that's all I got. Amazing. Wow. Well, uh, yeah. Perhaps we could just stay in the lounge for now. Might be a better idea. That would be good. Um, oh, sorry, you were saying that out loud. Uh, the lounge is the room to, uh, the right, back in the way you came. Well, okay, it uh, would technically be your left if you turned around. I'm not good with the directions. Right, uh, th thank you. We will Arcus let is just gonna... We will let you know if, um... We are about to have some sort of event if you'd like to join us, or whenever the bridge is repaired. Uh, just when the bridge is repaired would be great. Lovely, lovely. We will let you know. Shouldn't be but a few hours. Thank you. you yeah, are... Arcus is gonna very briskly turn around and walk very fast to this lounge. Oh, this is like the speed walking following. <laughs> nice. Let's not do this shit. Uh huh. He's gonna kind of mutter on his breath. I don't think this is a good thing at all. This is not a good place. The door is right there. Look, I'm sorry. Who was the one who decided that we were going to come here for the first place? What? I said, who was the one who decided we were going to come in here in the first place? Not me. Thank you. Okay, but... I... Mm. Uh, is there a way for us to get around? Like, I don't... Oh, yeah. Well, would you like to find out? Well, I'm we can... going to have to, because I don't exactly want to stay in here. I well, would not like to stay in here either. Uh, uh, what, uh, so let's go out let's, the front door and let's just let's go, go around, go around mm -hmm. and just see. Okay. All right, we're he you're heading outside to check around. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. As you all begin to walk out the door, you see this group of um uh, of it, it's a couple people, about three. There's this tall dragonborn, a green one. There's a shorter elf with him, and a um a, a human woman alongside them, and they all 
walk into this place looking confused. They kind of like scoot around you as you're leaving. They don't exactly entirely acknowledge you. You can acknowledge them if you want, but they kind of just look around confused and begin to make their way toward the reception desk. Do you want this gonna mm, I don't know. <laughs> Arcus is gonna talk telepathically to the who looks like the most sensible out of the three. Uh, the woman looks more ner nervous than the rest of them. The elf just kind of looks looks a little dumb to you, or you can roll insight <laughs> on that. But he outwardly looks dumb, but the dragonborn seems to be the most confident one, looking around in more of curiosity <laughs> rather than nervousness. Cool. Arcus is gonna speak telepathically to this dude and be like, I would not come in here if I were you. Give me just a second. Wow, when the D20. Uh-oh. Beer. Uh, you see is he doesn't seem to... He, he doesn't seem to react as others have when you have telepathically speak to him. He begins looking around a little more frantically as if though... Some some voice just appeared in his head, like. Huh? <laughs> Did Marcus is gonna snap snap his fingers, or snap his like fingers like towards this dragonborn. Like he like turns around to look at you, and then he didn't say anything. He just kind of stares at you for a minute. And then Marcus is gonna what's gonna be like? I mean it. And then Arcus is gonna continue walking. <laughs> Before you turn around, you just you just see this man go blink blink at you in pure confusion before you just <laughs> walk out of the room, uh, leaving him in a in a confusion. You you all get back out the front door and see, you know, the front yard of the castle. There is a path that looks to be leading around the castle if you'd like to follow it. But other than that, there's just the way you came and a tower off next to the castle. There's another one, but that's connected to the castle. So do we want to try to go around this path and see what's behind? I suppose so. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. You all make your way up and around the castle to find not only a path God, fuck, uh, the path kind of ends right around the uh, castle back end but you see that well y you don't you don't see uh, the bridge or anything seemingly it's in a different place than from where you can see where the path ends but you can see definitely that um, the castle where it stands is atop a big elevated landmass. I wouldn't call it a hill yeah. as um well the end of the hill is a sheer drop. You're on a cliff to say the least um. looking over. You can't see the bridge from the path though. If you want to start walking in the grass and go around back you might get a look at it but other than that uh sure yeah, sure. I mean, if I fall, I, I, I'm good. So. <laughs> Skill issue, honestly, for those who break their legs after falling. That's stupid. Yeah, she's gonna stay back. <laughs> um. I would just not do Ar that. Arcus is just gonna shove past this tree. Arcus is going. <laughs> Fuck this. Uh, you all walk around, or most of you walk around the uh, side of the cliff, um, in the castle backyard, and you see it's not on the map, so. Shh. Um, you see there is indeed a river back here, but there is also what looks to be a completely functioning bridge with a large gate blocking it off. Fantastic. So they lied to us about a bridge. I couldn't imagine why. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I don't know why you're mocking me as if I wasn't agreeing with you. No, oh, sorry. I can't tell with your tone. My bad. I uh, uh, no, I've just I look. I, they've been locked away for who knows how long. I don't read people well anymore. 
Can you read? Yes, I can read. <laughs> what does that mean? We have a few people in this place that cannot read. Really? Who? Blue. I, I wonder. Well... I've... They, they, he can't see. The it can't see. Yes. They're unable to read. Can Blue read Braille? Uh, I am unsure. I have not asked. There's not <laughs> exactly a lot of Braille around to test it with. It's not a very inclusive web. Well, all right, well. Oh, okay, Blue. Can I'm also unaware if Augustine can, uh... I'm unaware if Augustine can read or not. I believe Augustine is, as the youth say, AFK. So, mm -hmm. there is a functioning bridge. There's just this gate. Hey, I, I can read. I'd hope you can read. It was one of the things that, that the built in. Obviously. Thank God. I'd be a little concerned if you read that book without knowing how to read. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. Bridge. So, um... Do we want to go up and see what this gate thing is about, or...? Assumedly so. Alright. Um... You all walk up, uh, to this... Fuck. To this bridge. And as you walk up to this bridge, you don't really see any door handles on this gate as for at first. There seems to be kind of, uh, it, it kind of just looks like a solid piece of wood in the shape of a gate. Uh, until you look closer at this gate and see a set of closed eyes. Oh. Oh. You know, I don't think I want to knock on that. I, mm. oh, sorry, could you repeat that? Um, the gate doesn't look like it has any kind of, uh, like, handles or can even open. It looks like a slab of wood in the shape of a gate. But you can see there's a set of closed eyes that look like they're made out of wood on the gate. They kind of bulge and poke out a little bit, like human eyes. I think they do that. Do I have any idea what this thing is? The gate? No. Yeah. Okay. You definitely don't remember gates having eyes. They don't usually do that. Well, no, but I meant like if it was something disguising as a gate or whatever. As far as you can tell, someone just had a weird artistic choice when making this gate. Why don't we just approach the gate and see how it reacts? That's it. All right, you have that one. We're not oh. leaving it to me, are we? What? Uh, you're not brave enough to approach the gate yourself. Maybe. Oh, look, I have dealt with horrors beyond your comprehension, Yerndel. <laughs> so I would appreciate just a little bit of respect from you every once in a while. Beyond my comprehension, eh? Yes. Sure, let's go with that, shall we? Yes. Awfully judgmental for someone who knows very little. I know. You? Nonetheless, I will approach this, since you are too timid. Argus is just going to under his breath. Um, Irin is going to uh, approach the weird gate with eyes. All right, you uh, as you approach the gate, nothing seems to happen with it as you walk closer. Uh, do you touch it? Do you yell at it? Anything like that? Are you just gonna like <clears throat> clear its throat? Be like, you is see there anyone present? Slowly, as the gate's eyes um, open, you know. And you see a mouth begin to form uh, as you hear the gate go. 
it. Oh. What's the password? It says. It stares down at you. Uh, its eyes are kind of like a... They're, his eyes are like made of wood, but inlaid almost as pupils are these onyx gemstones, kind of inverted in color from what you'd normally expect eyes to be. They're usually not too darkened colors. He's just kind of staring down at you after saying that. Apologies, my friend. We are new to the area. We were unaware a password was necessary to approach. The ennui has the password. Go ask them. Is that so? Yes. Well, thank you kindly for the information, friend. We... I shall be back with the password in due time. Okay, thank you. I'd rather not be fired. This is really Understood. nice. I get to look at a wall all day. As he, like, looks toward the castle uh, door and wall just behind you. It sounds delightful. It is. Uh, Aaron's just gonna, like, turn around and make his way back to the rest of the group. <laughs> well. Talking to Aura's first. Mm hmm. Simply put, we need a password. A password held by the wonderful hosts at the Ennui. Fantastic. So. Uh... One, they tell us that the bridge is broken and that we can't cross it, and then we find out the bridge isn't broken. Two, we need a password that they're not even going to give us because we went back here and saw that the bridge wasn't broken. We could just ask them if any. That's what I'm thinking, too. All right. Well, we'll see how that goes for us. Uh, I mean, should the worst come about, we're far more than prepared for a little tussle, aren't we? Yes. Before we all go back to the hotel, um, how like thin is the bridge and how big is the gate? Uh, the gate. Like, how much distance? Yeah. The distance. For basically. If I were to jump from the cliff to the bridge, uh, how far is it? The bridge is on the edge of the cliff? It's... Oh yeah, but there's a the gate in front of it. The bridge isn't broken. No, oh, no the gate, there's a the... gate in front of it, isn't it? Or is it midway? The gate is in front of it, yeah. You have to go yeah. through the gate to even start walking Unless on the Unless you went from the bridge from the side of it, and then jumped in a diagonal onto the bridge, is what I'm asking. Y you... Theoretically could do that. While the gate okay. is like about maybe two, uh, one foot thick of wood and it's got like an archway that's a little thicker and wider, you could, if acrobatically adept enough, jump around it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just, I just want to know. <laughs> Blue just kind of like mentally knows that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I could try. I could, if I fall, I'm good. I also have slow fall, so I'm also good. <laughs> <laughs> I also have triple jump. I can like extend my jump distance, but I don't think anyone else can <laughs> do that. It's fine. We'll I it. am very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we got the. We can't get moose past the. Oh, we can't get moose. Let's just go to ask, I guess. There is a door behind you, uh, like kind of a back door to this place, if you want to go through that rather than the front door. That's like an awful idea. <laughs> I kind of love it. <clears throat> going through the back door. I mean, let's think about this. Where are you going for? Just through <laughs> the back door, it seems awfully shady. I yes. could go in first. It does. I'm okay with this. Smile. It seems I am not going to unnecessarily that. risky. It isn't going to take much to just walk around the building. No, it's not. It seems infinitely safer. Understood. Before they go back around, Arcus is going to press his ear 
to the door that's in the back and just listen to see if you can hear anything. Um, you kind of, you uh, put your ear up to the door and you don't really hear anything going on, just the sound of, uh, you recognize the hum of light cantrips within this room. It's a very faint hum, though. Other than that, you can't hear any human voices in this room. Uh, but the other sound you pick up that is interesting to you is what sounds like rushing water. Not from the river outside, but from somewhere deeper in the room you're listening into. Oh, that's weird. It sounds like there's water running inside of that room. Water, you say? I just, it sounds like someone's... Uh, I mean, obviously, it sounds like it's... It, it's not the river. It's coming from inside of there. Perhaps this may need more investigation than we thought. Ah, oh, dear. But you think it's a washroom of some sort? Well, we could always take a look. So I think our residents need a zone down. I can go in there if you desire. <laughs> no, we can get someone selfier than yourself, Blue. What did you say? <laughs> I said Good someone stealthier than yourself. I'm pretty well, let's stealthy. take a look at our last time we set Blue off on its own, and it caused the near end of pretty oh. much everything. I've, I've changed. I've improved. Hmm. Perhaps. So I don't need information from a person this Well, I didn't think needing information from people would require stabbing them, so I no longer know what constitutes stabbing in your books. You can stab anyone, what? Oh, well, killing them is the same deal. Doesn't um, change my point. I can give you my weapon if you desire. I mean, yes, look, Blue, you are awfully quiet and stuff, and aren't you a little... big? If we're gonna try being immensely stealthy. I'm big? <laughs> we can get smaller than you. <laughs> you know, the whole wild shape thing isn't just for giant bears and small dragons. I always hear I'm going pretty sure I could also be smaller than you. <laughs> Yeah, I always hear you going on about how uh, how small I am. It'd be quite funny not being the smallest. Well, you're smallest on average. You can't <laughs> get much bigger. Argus is really fed up. Argus is just gonna go sit on the cliff edge <laughs> with his legs dangling like, up, kicking your little feet. Yeah, he I'm he's he's, he's he's like just kicking his feet off on the edge of the <laughs> he's, he's fucking over it right now. We want to investigate this place. Being immensely stealthy is of the utmost. Being un <laughs> borderline so untraceable. Then feel free. Just offering services I can uh, provide. How Will you two ever I stop do. fighting? Maybe if I'm not every time belittled when I talk. Ar Arcus is now mm. doing that very oh. dramatic fallback. Or like, not falling off the cliff, but like, falling yeah, backwards just, onto the grass, his sprawling- back like, looking towards him, just like, can you guys yeah, give me a rest? Like, with his arms better, can you guys please stop? Alright, fine. I'll let Blue take the reins. Do it if you want, I don't mind. No, let's use this as a chance for you to prove that you can do this without killing someone. Should I give you my weapon? So you should, so you know no, I'm no. not doing it? That's hardly trusting, is it? You you Take require self-defense. Oh, don't worry, I also have self-defense, I was lying. Uh, I don't really, I only use the quarter staff sometimes. I'm better with my fists. Um weapon. Man, that cloud up there is a really cool shape. 
Jesus is just looking think, up at the sky. <laughs> he's he's looking over it the here. sky by now. Wow, a, a way to rub it in, Arcus. That's <laughs> not. That's not what I was getting at. I okay, I get, it, I get it. I get it. Wait to rub it in. I'm going to. You know what? I'm just going to jump off this cliff. Here I go. Marcus is <laughs> like sitting back up. <laughs> okay, this is just kind of like going out and grabbing uh, Arcus's nose. No. no. Please. Okay, I'm going in. Okay, everyone ready? I am good. No. Alright. Yes. I'm gonna try sneakily go in and open the door and get in. Jump off a cliff. All right, I uh, blue. you. I'm going to do a flip. No, oh, sorry. Do go not ahead. Do that. <laughs> right. So, blue, you're sneaking around the castle. I guess. I well, just want to find out what the like source of water is. You slip in through the back door and you see um, there's this statue. Those aren't stairs. I lied. Uh, there's this statue there of, of a, it's of multiple gnomes. One of them's kind of like got their hand out and their other hand kind of at their side, uh, where another gnome is like standing on it, doing the same pose in the other direction. And then there's a third one standing on the, um, second gnome doing the same pose, but holding nothing. Uh, there's no engraving or plaque on this statue, um, that you can see from behind it, but it's, it's a little out of place. You can hear the rushing water that, um, that arc it. You can't <laughs> fucking see it. You can't. I just described it. Anyways, anyways, uh, you like make that out in vibrations. I don't fucking know. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I have like echolocation, so if it's like a big difference, then yeah. Yeah, you'd be you'd be able to make that out. It looks like that to you. You don't make out. Mm -hmm. I don't make out because you want him romantic. <laughs> My God, I'm so true. <laughs> don't make for out. real. Um, you hear the sound of rushing water coming from further within the room. Um. But you also hear something a little more eerie. It sounds like several people sobbing. Varying degrees of sadness can be heard in this sobbing. Some people are crying by what might sound like a... Maybe from, like, uh tripping and falling while some are wailing akin to seeing someone get murdered in front of them the crying is incredibly loud to you and you're surprised that you couldn't hear it from outside but it can be heard just a bit to your left down the hall um, you can hear the rushing water alongside this as well can i kind of hear how many like heartbeats there are like how many people are uh, sobbing roll me perception because there's a lot of sounds right now mm -hmm. uh 17 uh maybe about six or s six to nine it's hard to make out with the rushing water and the sounds of crying but you can make out what sounds to be about six to nine people within the room that people are crying in. Or heartbeats, I, I mean. I'm gonna start to go quietly towards that area. Kind of like following against the walls. As you begin to, you hear the water sound get much louder as you go across the wall. Um, and you can hear what sounds a little closer now. You can hear, it sounds like a fountain that you're hearing. <laughs> um, but right next to you the crying sound is getting louder and louder people are wailing forgive me uh, kind of like <laughs> imagine that but like 13 more or 9 more and it's all various different styles of <laughs> you know it's very annoying yeah. now that you're this close um I think Wiener no. Um 
Um, Do you get any closer? Yeah, I think I want to get a little bit closer, but not when that like up get to like wherever there's a doorway. So, does Blue know how to read Braille? Uh, yes. As you kind of run your hand across the wall, it, it kind of shocks you for a moment, but you do come across uh, what feels like a, a sign or placard that has Braille on it. Uh, do you read it? Uh, yeah. Uh, as you run your hand across the Braille, you read out the sadness room on this <laughs> placard. Oh! Okay, it's all there. <laughs> the sadness room. It's my bedroom. Sadness room through them. So true. <laughs> the sadness room. It really kind of like takes a second, just like interesting. Um. Uh. Shit, there's a lot of sad people. Um. Skill issue. I'm joking. Uh, do I hear anything else except the crying in that room? Eventually. Um, how, how long do you sit and listen, you think? Like a minute, maybe? After about 30 seconds, you hear a significant decrease in crying. About maybe sev six or seven people just stop crying immediately, and you hear, uh, you hear someone go, Oh, I see. The process has completed. I hope you enjoyed you can no longer feel this emotion, and I hope you are happy. If you regret this decision, you can see the fountain just out the way and drink of the water and you will be restored. You have about five minutes for this to occur, so, you know, make your choice now. It is a, a tough one, I know. Um, we will take your payment at the, uh, at the front desk. Thank you, and have a nice day. Uh, and you hear these people all get up and they all kind of, some of them laugh a little bit, you know, some of them talk amongst each other and you hear like two dudes go like, dude, uh, uh, let's see if this really worked. Um, uh, what, what happened when you got divorced? Oh, well, um, my wife, I didn't get divorced. Uh, well, no, I did get divorced, but, uh, when I got divorced, my wife fell off a cliff. Normally that'd make me cry, but no, no, I can't, I can't, I can't cry now. You know, it was really brutal and horrible. I've been thinking about this for, for years, but no, now I, I don't, I don't feel sad about it. Dude, it worked. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the fountain. Um, I don't like that. Yeah, man, maybe, maybe you're a little, maybe, maybe you should. Yeah. Why did you bring me here? I don't know, man. Um, the conversation just kind of continues on as uh, you hear mm. people are beginning to walk towards the fountain or you. Blue is going to, like, kind of stare for a second. Just go, Ugh, like, mentally and just go, God, I didn't that I would love the place. I just start to, like, back out. <laughs> like, kind of go back to the door. Uh, you hear some people, you hear what sounds like... Um, seemingly the dude who mentioned he was going to drink from the uh, fountain. You hear someone puts their hand in it and begins to drink out of it. Um, the crying is fainter as you... Let me get your fucking token. Uh, as you exit from the back door and back out to the rest of the group. I'm gonna just, like, exit the door and just kind of, like, stand there perfectly still for a second. Just... Huh. Is you I found the sad room. Uh, the what? The, the, the sad, sad room. room. They have the so, rooms for. There yeah. is yes. Um, there is a fountain that I found, and then next with written in braille, which is very nice of them. Um, there was a room called the sad room, and there was just like thirteen people crying in there, and then at some point it just stopped, and they kind of got up said they paid to the front desk and then if they wanted to get their emotions back uh, they could drink from the fountain some guy's wife died off a cliff and uh he would have been sad about it what? but he physically couldn't oh so it takes away your emotion completely wow that is really ill-timed 
<laughs> just is backing up from the edge of the cliff. Yes. <laughs> it's like a head is slightly turned towards Arcus. <laughs> yes. He's, um... he's holding his hands up and they are like, yeah, that was, uh, I apologize. That was sad. Um, yeah. um, but... Even Jello, you are fine. Quite fine, thank you. Um. Are no you... one even saw me, so I think I did well. Right. What's um. your body count? None. <laughs> Argus starts coughing horribly. Oh, you meant. Oh, yes, I thought you meant killing. <laughs> I don't worry about the other one. <laughs> what do you mean? Is there a. I anyway, I think it's there's a round of might imply, there's, but... a, there's around Arcus a there's a five like, minute. Marcus <laughs> yeah. is like that hands on knees, like coughing, just just he he's trying believe, to cover up laugh. Uh, you believe our star friend might have fallen ill. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> she kind of like looks at Arcus, chuckles slightly. Uh, no, yes, there's around no. the five minutes. Um, time after getting our emotions removed to get us back, wait, drinking the water. And is this going to stop our quest to ask them for a password? I don't think so, but um, if in the case we uh, lose an emotion, we can get it back. Fantastic. <laughs> You're right, Arcus. Yeah, I'm. Yes, I'm. <laughs> you sure? I'm, I'm perfectly. You little. Mm -hmm. I'm fine. Let's see, I told you he was little. It was little. Apologies. Yes, I'm little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. So, doesn't seem like it will affect us. We can continue on, I guess, as usual. Then, uh, so find the password. God damn it! Arcus is glaring at your ears, glaring at Arcus, just like I see. What? We both said I suppose so at the same time. I see. I suppose. No, you so. don't. Okay, I'm going to join the cups. Mm hmm. No, oh, I feel like that's actually, happened before. You can't actually see Arcus glaring. You can feel Arcus glaring at you. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> you feel like the, the slight pickup. No, I mean, like, hotly. nobody can feel, can see Arcus is wearing the mask. Oh, amazing. True. Yeah, Real. You can feel Arcus <laughs> you, you telepathically you. project your glare just, at them. <laughs> yeah. just, 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 just to be clear, everyone but Blue can't see because of the mask. Blue is just blind and can't see. Blue <laughs> is just blind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, in, ca in case anyone forgets, thing. I want Arcus to be able to show his pretty face. Hey, you can um, be a rebellious little twink if he wants to be. Oh my god. He could. Oh my god. Detection warning glasses. Um. Arcus is taking off the mask just to like double down on the player. <laughs> Aaron's a little taken aback by uh, seeing his eyes uh, and kind of just shies away from the little star and is like, right, <clears throat> let's let's just go inside. Mm. <laughs> okay. Arcus is pleased. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually to... going to tuck the mask away. Ooh. Are we making our way back to the front? Yes, sir. All right, mm -hmm. Robbie, sir. This is oh, gonna get us okay. so much trouble. Uh, you all make your way back around the front uh, to go back into the emotion on the Wii. And you, as you're walking through, you all can now see there seems to have been a group of people filing in after, um, after, you know. The, uh, sorry, there seems to be a group of people who filed in, you know, after you've uh, been investigating the back. Uh, you see the three you saw earlier sitting in the room just to your left, the one that looked trash before, now magically seeming to have been cleaned, almost. Um, you can see there the three of them sitting down all next to each other with a couple of other guests, some all of varying different races. There's even a 
What is the turtle one called? I turtle. 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 I thought it was something silly like that. There is a turtle <laughs> there. Turtle. That that um strikes you all as uh he stands out to say the least. There's mostly you know uh humans, a tiefling or two there. Uh, but other than that, they all just sit down at this table. Uh, everyone who can see with their eyes. Actually, no. Okay. All of you can make me a perception check. Actually, okay. this is something. This is something that could be seen without eyes. It's fine because I don't this... have eyes. I have advantage on like all perception <laughs> checks because that it's only. A Twelve. Twelve. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. And uh, twenty-one. <laughs> Thirteen. What so you say, real. Joey? Uh, Joey, Kitoko. What you say? Long. Mm -hmm. Uh, 17. 17. Uh, Kiwi? Any moves? 21. 21. Um, <clears throat> all of you, including Blue, I will explain how in a moment, can see these people look on edge. It's like they're meeting to decide who is killed or to make a big decision some of them are uh, they're, tapping they're playing their... among us <laughs> some of them are like <laughs> no okay no no uh some of them are some of them are tapping their fingers on the table very quickly stomping their foot on the ground in anticipation some of them have twitching eyes uh blue you can notice you can like hear yeah the uh, heartbeat increase and mm -hmm. the adrenaline <laughs> running through these people's bodies as they all <laughs> sit there looking on edge and some of them even look a little angry. Uh, what? What? Storm. <laughs> okay. Um, My bad. They definitely don't look... They, they, they look like they're sitting there willingly. They're all just really, really nervous about it. The hell did we walk into? I am unsure that they all seem very nervous. We can ask. That we can. Do you walk up to the front desk to ask? <laughs> or do you go in the room? Um. Yeah. Sure, Arcus will bite. Arcus will go up and ask. What's everybody else doing? Arcus is going up to I'm... the desk. Blue might go over to the people that are on edge. Mm hmm. Erin's watching Arcus go to the desk. Kitoko's Kito probably also going to the desk. I hate when he leaves, desk. but I love to watch him go. Sorry. No, Keck! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kitoko, you're. Going to the desk, too. Okay, Moose. Moose is staying with, uh... Oh. Um, you all see, uh, I, we'll, we'll go to, we'll go to Arcus and, uh, oh, sorry, Moose, you didn't even say it. I'm sorry, where are you going? I'm just gonna stay with, uh, Aaron. Aaron All right, so Aaron oh. and Moose are watching. Arcus and Kitoko are going to the desk. Blue is going in. Um, we'll cut to the three of you in a moment. Um, Arcus and Kitoko, you walk up to the desk where you see the little man in his red robe kind of working, doing his job. Uh, and he sees, sees you approach. He goes, oh, hey, he's not bald. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> I see you're back for these yep. services. Maybe we uh, we have many rooms. Uh, one is about to... Uh, about to begin, if you'd like to get a late ticket for it. It is not any more expensive, but you can see um, it. Um, no, that's not what, quite what we're interested in. Um, I just had to ask, everyone in here seems a little on edge. Is there a reason for that? I am not on edge. What do you mean? I, I mean your guest. Oh, in that room. Uh, oh. Z that is uh, the anger room. Uh, I really hope you did not uh, provoke them, as we have a sort of uh, system. See, when you are about to have emotions removed, they are amplified about tenfold, and that room often... Um, 
Well, there is a reason we put a healing field on the room. We have not had a murder here in several years, and that healing field is the reason. <laughs> he giggles as if though what he said has is not absolutely strange. Horrifying? Yeah. Yeah. It is um, just what happened. I mean, I hope you not have a murder here. We have not, no. Very nice. But yes, that is, uh, that room is actually free. We allow that one for everyone, you know. We, of course, make them pay if they want to get their rage back, but many people come here to have their anger issues resolved. It has varying effects, as rage is one of the few emotions that actually cannot be completely removed. It is a strange What do you one. mean by that? Some people find themselves becoming rageful later on in life. It takes multiple years, but someone with, say, revenge or someone who has very poor anger management skills may find their rage returning to them later in life. It is the only emotion that does this, seemingly because it is most commonly caused by outside sources or even can be caused by magic, but <laughs> that is not real rage. I believe, okay. actually, if you'd like to see what real rage looks like or even participate, uh, the they're about to set off the rage room. You can still, you know, purchase a room for after. Oh. If, you know, your recovery will not be speedy. <laughs> oh. Right. Arcus's, Arcus's gaze is traveling back towards the room. To which we'll cut over to you all. <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on. Let me, let me get, like... Blue is going in the room. Uh-oh! <laughs> Uh, yeah, Arendal and, um, Arendal and, hold on, is this, let's see if this is gonna be good. Okay, no, never mind, we're just gonna cut the music entirely, I thought that was gonna be better. Um, There's been music? Um, that's that's Okay, this is crazy. Uh, it's quite quiet, I have to turn the mod up quite a lot. As Blue walks- It's just not playing anything for me, like, Ooh, period. Oh. Neither. I just, I just turned it off, maybe that was why. Um... No, it's not been playing anything this whole time. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, that's... Hold on, I'll disconnect them and reconnect them, maybe? Huh. I will fix that after stream. I don't know what's up with that. Um... Right. I was just saying, like, I have the vibe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Arendal and, uh, Moose, you see a little placard next to this room, uh, it, it's kind of golden and sheened. You see it bef uh, you see it a little while after Arc- er, pfft, Blue walks into this room, uh, this placard is labeled, The Anger Room. Uh, Blue, you walk into this table of on-edge people, and you immediately hear someone, uh, seemingly, uh, larger uh, man as a deep voice shouts to you, What are you doing in here? There's no more seats left at the table. What are you doing in here? Wait, to who? I zoned out for a second. To you. He's, he's saying oh, this wait. to you. Oh, um, everyone seemed quite tense. I was wondering what's going on. Uh, to be clear, Arendal and Moose, you immediately yeah. notice... Uh, this is the green dragonborn who's getting up and shouting this. You immediately notice as soon as he gets up, he like kind of sits up in his chair and like leans over the table. You can clearly see him speak, but there's no sound. But Blue, you can hear this. Um, what did you say again? I'm sorry. Uh, I came in here because I was wondering what was going on. We're all waiting. They said For what? there would be food before they'd let us, you know, I mean, you know what, you know what people come here for, you know, you know. I don't, I'm blind. Why are you at, I, well, you don't have to be blind to be angry. Oh, this is an anger room? What? This is an anger room. That's a stupid question, can't you read? 
I leave. <laughs> no, I just fucking <laughs> run out. <laughs> Stupid little. Uh, you you hear um this man as soon as you attempt to leave. You hold on. Uh, does a seventeen hit? That is my AC. Wow. Okay. You hear this man <laughs> shout, "Stupid little rat!" And a plate comes flying at the back of your head smashing uh, against it uh does it do damage okay that was a fuck ass d4 roll hold on uh, roll you stupid oh my god <laughs> it's just sliding stop does it do less than 14 damage or does it do more than 14 damage no cool a blue Wait. like kind of rolls and grabs it using deflect missile <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, you, uh, you grab the plate as it comes flying at you, and you hear him go, what the fuck? And then just place it on, sorry, and I walk out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> you leave, you leave this dragonborn man bewildered, as he did not expect you to catch the plate of all things. <laughs> um, and yeah, as soon as you get out of the room, you notice that some of the people were, like, tapping their feet in there, tapping the table, but you realize you couldn't, you can't hear that from outside of the room. Um, you, you just see them all sitting there, you see the dragonborn man bewildered, um, but you don't hear anything in there. Oh, creepy. Um, I, like, walk back to Arendal and Blue. Um, that was a rage room, apparently. <laughs> to Arendal and Blue. Arendal and Moose. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the sign outside said, says so. Yes. Okay, and I'll read that back. I did not say see. Yes, you said the sign outside, which I'd have to go and look at, and I didn't. I'd have to go feel. Apologies. Sorry, I think there's something in that room. Um, uh, it's, it's the rage room. I think someone tried to throw a plate at me. Apparently, I needed food. Um, I, I don't know. watch. It was a plate. Yes. 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 Good to see you agree on things. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at Arendal. Yes. Arcus is done. perpetually stuck gazing at the anger room. Do you, do you want to start walking back at this point? Because I feel like this would be where the events converge. You see, um... I guess I'm actually going to turn back to the, the guy at the... Alright, yeah, well, we, we can cut back to you. What, what do you say to him? So, what emotions do you all deal in? Uh, we offer the removal of... Uh, hold on, give me a second. Hold on, I have these written down. Uh, we offer the removal yeah. of anger, sadness, happiness... And fear, I tell you, one of them is uh, not as popular as the others. I think you know which one. I can imagine. We've often um, thought of removing it, but every time that one of the people come to get it removed and keep it removed, the creature offers its service for another three years, which is far more than it offers for the others. So, we keep the option open. <clears throat> um, Arcus kind of shakes his head a little bit. Uh, thank you for the information, I appreciate it. Yes, no problem. Uh, we will uh, let you know whenever the bridge is repaired. Um, it is looking to be a little longer than we thought. Uh, about that... Mm-hmm. We went around back, and the bridge didn't seem to be in any disrepair. Well, what do you mean? You could see it? It's it? it? Yes. There is a big gate. How could you see it? You you can look around the gate. No, you can't. From the cliff. Yes, you can. No. You, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you know? no. Yes, yes, you can. No, no, you can't. You very much can. No, no, you can't. We can't. I, you cannot see it. 
Did the you gate said something about a password. Uh, there's there's nothing you can't you can't look around it. It is. See, I try to, and I almost fall off the cliff. It is it is no it no, no you can't. Marcus is gonna very firmly put hands down on this desk. Uh, roll intimidation for me. <laughs> can I get Marcus the help action. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. Do you want? I, I like. Do you want to also put your hands down on this desk? Yes, yeah. I'm gonna do that and then like show my fangs. Oh. Okay, yeah, roll with advantage. That I is a 21. Uh, you see this little man. This twink is very intimidating. <laughs> okay. He's got a bodyguard. You see this, uh, little man, <laughs> yeah, like, okay. this Mom. little man, like, puts his <laughs> hand, <laughs> puts his hand. I love the idea of Arcus doing this. Like, Arcus is not intimidating. But it's Kitoko that's really <laughs> silly. <laughs> yeah, it's like really not scary, and then just a shadow behind. Just like, 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 yeah. And for no BS. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, as this little man puts his hands together and goes, uh, "Um, is he? Uh, um, what? What exactly kind of tourist trap are you running here? This is not it." Tourist trap, we do actually remove the emotions. It is honestly right. an insult. But what exactly to... are you trying to pull over the people trying to leave out of this place? Uh, I kind of already told you. We remove their emotions to feed the creature under the castle. Like so why won't you just let us leave then? The bridge is for paying customers only he like gives a little smile <laughs> mm -hmm. you could stay in one of the rooms that do not remove your emotion or just pay us a little bit of money for the password how much money 10 gold <laughs> Arcus is putting ten gold on the table. <laughs> oh shit! I did not actually. Oh, do you actually have that much? Yeah. We all got paid, remember? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah dude. Uh, he looks at it for a moment. <laughs> oh shit! I meant per percent. Yeah, nice try. No. It is company policy. Oh well, suddenly I am not no. going through the gate. Wow, that's crazy. Either you give us the password of the gate, it will find a way through it. No, it's fine. But by the policy, I just won't go through the gate, obviously. I won't know the password. Only you will know the password. Um... That too. You see as he, like, pulls his hands together, and you see he, like, grabs the underside of the desk, and is kind of like, Well, I... I look... I am just doing my job. You know, you must understand. I don't want to um do anything i'm gonna i want to use detect thoughts on him um all right <laughs> yeah do, do i have to roll anything for that i cannot remember i um no. if the creature you choose has an intelligence of three or lower it doesn't uh, you initially learn the surface thoughts of the creature what's on their mind at that moment okay uh, I assume that's what you want. You hear yes. just this panic. Oh god, oh god, I hope they get there quickly. Maybe, maybe they, maybe they can wipe their memory quick enough and then we can go back to not having anyone leave. Yes, yes, it would be perfect. People, uh, people will pay for the fucking bridge. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You are conning people out of their money, aren't they? Aren't you? No. We Who exactly is showing up then? The fella. Sure. The guests? Mm. Let's see. You you hear from his thoughts. God, this playing done act is so easy. God, I just have to pretend <laughs> I don't know anything. This is this is too easy. So easy, huh? What? I did not I did not say anything. Oh no, you didn't say anything. Yes, I I did it. Not out loud. Arcus is yes, that's reaching how a hand not... forward and tapping on the guy's head. Yes, that is that is how not speaking works. I'm... You're not a very smart fellow. 
I'm confused. He's a part sweller. You hear you hear his <laughs> thoughts for a moment. Yes, I am actually confused. What the fuck is this person talking about? Uh, I imagine would the rest of the group join up with uh with. Arcus and Kitoko at this point, maybe? Or would you just be hanging, chilling? Mm. Uh, probably trying to reconvene. <laughs> all right, yeah. You you all are kind of congregated here. I, I really don't know what you are talking about. Look, it is <laughs> the 10 gold per person, you know. We have to make our money where it counts. I mean, not many people. You know, we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. If you prefer that. Um. Uh. You know. One thing I should. I need a perception check from everyone. Okay. If I say I can't be surprised, does that mean, mean anything? Uh. Yeah, but only mechanically wise. Yeah. You can't be the mechanic surprised, but. You know, I can still see. Uh, 18. 18. All right. 24. 14. 14. If I nine. rolled an 8, and my passive perception uh, is 16, <laughs> does that help me at all? Uh, So I was going to, I was about to say you're rolling as a group. And oh. so far, um, I hear two fails with a 9 and an 8. Blue, what was that? You guys? 24. 24. Kitoko? Uh, 18. Arcus? 14. Y'all lucky. Y'all, y'all fucking lucky Arcus came in clutch. You hear what sounds to be a bunch of little boots. Uh, of, of many, it's, it's similar to the sound that one of them made when walking in through the hallway. Uh, you hear what sounds to be a bunch of little boots, about four pairs, and what sounds to be the unsheathing of wands behind you. And you hear the little man behind the counter shout, Now, remove remove their ability to be angry, quick! Um, it's still, remove their ability to be angry. <laughs> Shut up. Quick, do it, do it now! Uh, you do have some time to react before they do this. Um, uh, they've all got their wands pointed at you. There's about four of them. <laughs> um, that is not a trustworthy so, uh, laugh. Could either disappear or I could just run. Um, what do I do? Uh, Arcus is going to turn around, push past everyone, and cast Scorcher on all these people behind him. Um, wow, okay. Uh, roll. Uh, can I give magical mischief? Um, which is impose advantage on the next spell attack by a willing creature other than yourself. <laughs> yeah, roll that spell attack with advantage. <laughs> you feel like a blue kind of like as you go by, just like attack um, you, and you get like electric, it's, electric it's shock. It's not a spell attack. It's they all have to make yeah. a deck save throw. This is fucked up. Okay, well you still. Have I it will. Done. I will <laughs> say you can use that to impose disadvantage on all of them if you I want. I can also blue. impose disadvantage I, on the next let's, enemy spell let's attack. Let's do that throw. then. Yeah. yeah all so right. all of them to make a deck save throw. Two. Four. Four. Hold on, I gotta roll again on that one because it wasn't a comedically low number. Six. <laughs> um, yeah, you cast this scorcher. They, yeah, they all fail. Yeah, you cast this scorcher as uh, all of them point their wands at you and you hear, oh, fuck. And you see all of these little gnomes just go up in flames. And by the time the spell wears off, there's just a... Like four well placed piles of ashes. <laughs> See, okay, I said that, and my first thought was that post. I, I, this is off topic, but there's a post where it's like this gun with like four evenly spaced barrels. <laughs> saying it's, and the response is say your prayers, Weezer. And all I can think of is now just just Arcus say your prayers, Weezer, and burning them all alive. Um, <laughs> yeah, you uh, you you burn Weezer. I mean these gnomes alive. Uh, leaving no, little reason. comedic pile of ashes, and the little man, just wide-eyed, looks up at you and goes, Ah, uh, the password is the words anger, sadness, happiness, fear, all together, capitals at the beginning of each word. 
<laughs> Blue goes over to Aaron Dallas. Yeah, here I'll, I'll um I'll put it in the um in the player chat. Oh, it's like it's like all the words. Yeah. But he yeah. said it. Yes, it is. Oh, it's all of the words. Or no, it's just anger. Happy said anger. Angry sad. Happy Oh, okay. I was just gonna sit in here wondering how the hate, hate Thank no you more hate for your hospitality. Oh. And then Arcus is walking out the door. <laughs> Please don't burn our employees on the way out. <laughs> no, promises. no promises. And I get complained about the bird killing one guy? <laughs> Blue walks away. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Blue. Uh, oh, wait, Hi. actually, no, no, no. I should ask who leaves last? Moose. Make me a perception check, Moose. As the rest of you, I assume, walk out to um to go and investigate or to go back to the bridge, right? Seventeen. You hear, Moose, as you're about halfway out the door, what sounds to be like a little thing opening. Some kind of small mechanism. <laughs> Moose and is like turning poorly. dials. Uh Moose, by the time everyone is out the door, right? You're a robot. You're a little slower than everybody, Just right? Just a little bit. You see this little man has got one of the watches. A watch similar to one of the ones you stole. And is doing something with it. Turning dials. Throck Dynamo. What's, uh... <laughs> Help me! Here, let me move. Let me move the party marker. You're like right here, about like plus or minus thirty feet. Like a little over thirty feet, like thirty five. Okay, can I just like try to ray of sickness? <laughs> Take a step hard. forward and cast ray of sickness <laughs> on him. Yeah, ray of sickness is sixty. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh. You. Yeah. Certainly. Make a spell attack. Where have I, uh, is, uh, 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 19. You find this to be a great opportunity to maybe practice on that magic you casted back in the mines. You try to replicate what you did before, putting your hand forward, and you feel that sickly energy come back into your hands. You're lucky you couldn't vomit, or you'd feel like your biological body would vomit as you pull out this beam of energy and then as he's distracted with a pfft, you feel as your hand is kicked back by the knockback of the beam it slams into this man and you and you see him like move around for a minute his face all green until he falls over pfft, under his desk and you hear a <laughs> oh god can we just go over and compensate the watch <laughs> Confiscate or compensate? Uh, com the, the first one. Uh, okay. you move confiscate. over behind the desk uh, as everyone's outside, and you see this little watch. Uh, it's closed now. He's dead oh, nice. under the counter. Oh. His vomit. Oh, wow. He's laying in his vomit. Uh, it's not a pretty <laughs> sight. You, <laughs> you, yoink, you yoink his watch. Uh, these are just guys. These were just, like, dudes who worked here. They were just guys. The, they were just well, dudes they, who worked look, here. They, can... they fucked with the twink. They got they, fireball, or they, they got scorcher. They, yeah, <laughs> no. apparently. The, like, this is this is the equivalent of, like, killing McDonald's employees, you guys. Like, this is not... Yeah, so a noble thing? <laughs> no, no, no! I'm saying that's the equivalent of, like, who you're killing right now. It's just McDonald's employees with magic wands. Oh. Yeah, they wanted to talk shit. They got hit. Dude, they, they, didn't, they, did not, they did think... not. They did not. They did not give don't... the twink the Big Mac. You know. They, they so, I hate to tell you, I don't think I McDonald's employees. No goddamn pickles. I don't exactly. Think McDonald's employees are trying to remove your memories, and so you can be taken away to the demon. No, no, no. McDonald's employees can do that. 
they what? Dude, they taught me. They taught me. <laughs> they taught me the. They taught me. Um. They taught me no, uh, magical deep frying when like, I worked at KFC. Like Wendy, it's not McDonald's. They taught me. They taught me how to like <laughs> roast people alive at KFC with fire magic. They didn't teach you that when you. When you worked at a fast food place, they did, they just teach you that. I just I just know how to use my charisma stat real well. So true. <laughs> yeah, you basically become a warlock whenever you go work at a fast food place, <laughs> and then you like break your pact whenever you quit your job. Well, I've already had like a subclass for warlock that is based I around being an employee. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, no, but yeah. General employees are just bards. <laughs> Moose, do you you uh what are take dead people? What well, uh, fighters? Multi class. <laughs> um, right. Uh, Moose, you're yoinking the watch and leaving. Yeah. Yeah, you yoink the watch. It's closed. Nothing like lights up. But yeah, you meet everybody outside. You all no. outside, kind of like we're walking for a moment, and then realized Moose wasn't with you. Uh, I imagine you'd wait or no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ar Arcus will wait. Uh, Blue's gonna be at the gate, Very, just kind of looking at with it. With the most smug fucking look on his face. <laughs> Moose is just kind of there, and uh, yeah, he's, like, he's like, like walking out. Mm -hmm. He's like, we what's the new watch? <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, what? Are we done here? Yeah. Yes, let's just go. Thank the stars. What's got your tail in a twist? Oh, you like I... that, wouldn't you? Oh! I, uh, I've acquired a watch. You know, for someone who pretends to be all stoic, your tail sure gives you away sometimes. I don't know what you mean. You looked awfully sad earlier when I talked about jumping off the cliff. You've been down a man is hardly the tactical advantage we want. Mm -hmm. I... that, that's... I, I'm worth so much sadness. It's not sadness, it's just disappointment. Mm-hmm. I, I got I know that you're disappointed in me. I'll keep that in mind. Is this really worth talking just about like right now? Everyone, just right. like everyone else in my life. Anyway, Marcus is just walking. I have a... You have a... I, I got a watch. Oh, what did you say? The gnome... was fiddling... with it. Mm. And he... Dropped he... it. Okay. And he just let you take it. I... I'm trying to... to do... 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 new things. Miss, what did you do? I... Uh, lied. You lied. Uh huh. I may oh, have it was against your uh, programming. I I don't know. He it it seemed like a threat at the time to our well thoughts. What was he doing with the lot? I could, couldn't tell. He, uh, it's when it, he's gonna like try to open it? Question mark. God yeah. has died, everybody. Somebody, somebody, I use those guys. I say. Lava, what? Lava, uh, what? 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 calling you? Lava, what's in the watch? What's in... Oh, oh, when you open it. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, I got I spaced out for a second. 
Uh, you open the watch and find it opens up to the map of the web. Hmm. What were the things he was doing with it? Uh, you... I'm just, I'm just gonna say these things work like smartphones with like only a couple apps installed now because I think it'd be I think it's funny you like <laughs> you look at the things that were recently opened on this app and you see um you see a call to something called hold on oh, I'm trying to uh, I'm literally blanking out on this acronym is it VD? Uh, it is not. It's not Vrock Dynamo, okay. but it's too, it's too an unknown number. The number is literally 822. You're not sure what this number goes to, but it's a call that recently ended with 822. It lasted about a few seconds. You, you know, you, you got him before uh, <laughs> he could really make the call, but the call was cut off. Oh. Should we call them back? <laughs> or leave it for another time? My curiosity would say call, but I think the safest is just to leave it for now. Uh, un understood. I think we should just head to the gate. I think so. All right. You all make your way towards the gate. Blue's already waiting there. Um, it, it is it is awake at this point. It kind of looks at you as you approach. Uh, what, do, what do you do? All right, so passwords, anger, sadness, happiness, fear, all one word. All the first letters are capitalized. Wh oh. Normally, people just say the four words, but I appreciate you being specific. If, um, I scream, please know it's not your fault. This just really hurts. And he begins to just go, ah, ah, as his face, like, splits open to open like a gate and you just see his his mouth has it like moving in sync he looks fine but he just keeps going oh fuck please please just go through please this sucks no one usually <laughs> knows the password but oh fuck understood Arcus is, Arcus is going through oh god oh yeah, we're gonna we're locked up there, I guess. <laughs> you all make your way through the gate as it closes. He's like, oh, God, thank you. Normally people freak out and run away. Then I have to stay open. It. Oh, God. He kind of <laughs> muffles out as he shuts behind you. And Why strange gate person? <laughs> in front of you, across the bridge, lays the void wall. The way to the next node. I did not like that interaction. Well, that about. I feel bad for that door. Is the feeling pity or? In either case, let us go. Understood. Wow, we have made somewhere that I didn't kill anyone, but others did. Huh. Good, 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 good job. <laughs> Is there something you wish to raise, Split? Hmm? No. No problem. No, just the fact. Glad you said Apologies, that. I'll not protect us next time. And that's the key difference. <laughs> Explode! Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let me know when 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 Jun said you can't read to blue. I just messaged it in all caps. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck. <laughs> so true. <laughs> right, right. Let us be. Yeah. Let us go. Yes. 
going through the After portal. everyone else. You are. You're staying to the last. Um, yeah, just go on. You all walk forward and step through the void while the whoop, 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 whoop. It all happens in succession like that, of course. And you come across, fuck, that is not, oh my god, where's the map? Where's the, where, I had a map specifically, here it is. Oh, thank god it actually will fucking show up. It was a WebP file, so, you know, I was a little worried about it. A web P A web P Web P That's usually how P is. Oh my god. Is, web P. If you have dry P, you might want to go see a doctor. No, I <laughs> what you think I piss powder? What what the fuck if it's a gas as well, I'd also recommend going to I, I don't pee <laughs> gas. What hold on, let me let me also uh at this point I'm gonna make the important notion you guys were here and now you're here. Yay! Right. Anyways. Oh my like, god. What? <laughs> I mean, when I move. So true. Yeah. Uh, you all walk out into a grassy field with stone planes. Let me get. Hold on. Um. Let me. Let me. Hold. Hold on. I gotta get the. I gotta get the. Uh. Uh. Yeah. This will work. No, not this, not this. This won't work. I'm angry now, grr. I'm upset. Should have went to the uh the place where moves your anger. Yeah, me when I go to the rage room, grr. <laughs> pizza? I don't want pizza. Fuck you. Anyways. I don't want pizza. I'm hungry. I'm tired. <laughs> you all walk out <laughs> to this arena in the middle of. Well, but looks to be an arena. It's surrounded by stone pillars, broken statue pieces. In the middle of this arena, almost looks like a shrine. There's what looks to be the remnants of a broken statue with two uh, stone feet <laughs> carved next to it. There's a little wooden platform that seems to have clearly been built later on. And on top of this shrine, on this wooden pedestal, is an open watch. One of the watches you've been wearing sitting here. And while you can't make out anything on this watch, you hear a very distant, Dude! Dude, come over here! Okay. Uh, Look at these remnants of histories. <laughs> Moose is gonna go approach the lot. Moose, 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 wait, wait, wait. Huh? Remember, Moose. Mr. Dynamo believes that we have since died, so if we're going to answer this, we should likely do it. I could see you over there! Oh, and, like, I, I kinda. I kinda knew you were lying. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, well, never mind so much for stuff. I did, you know. You just, just come here! It's not gonna be a problem. <sighs> what if I just what if I just shoot a spell at the watch and just destroy it? Then we'd lose out on information. Do you like the stone feet I put here? I had these carved. No, particularly careful. I'm not in i yeah, I'm not I thought I thought it would look good. Could, Wait, could how you far just, are they away? Uh, he's like at least uh <laughs> seventy or so feet away from you. This is a very faint like Guys, sound. Guys, I think there is someone near us. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he talking about feet? <laughs> I do not know. We based okay, him on like. I think he just enjoys them. <laughs> the statue that was there. Look, he just come here. I can't. I like. I like can see you, uh, but like I can't. I can't hear you, dudes. I will be uh, willing to approach. Yes, let us approach. approach. I'm so glad one person caught the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Do you all approach this pedestal? Sure, we'll get near the feet fetish person. <laughs> As you all approach this pedestal with the little wooden uh, thing on it, you notice rock is a little more calmer than usual. So... Um, 
you dudes mind like I don't know like I, I I don't know exactly how to say this but like I'm on the way and I want to just I, I I just want to talk you know so you just want us to wait like two minutes if that could be cool you know uh, well just to I think make I'd rather sure... go back into the other node and jump back off the cliff again well are he's just like talking with his hands at this point I mean I mean like there's already a bunch of dudes investigating there you're not gonna Someone called the uh, the web hotline, the traveler hotline. You know, we have a lot of people who settle down in Mr. the web. Mr. Dynamo. Like normal people. Just, we'll wait here. Just, we are going to explore the place a little first. Could you yes. tell us where the void wall is so we keep away from it and don't accidentally hop into another node while waiting for you? You can't see it? it this is like one of the smaller ones. Uh, as you look around, you do in fact see the void walls are like really close together. This area encompasses like this arena and this arena only. All right, we can wait for you. Thank you for Thanks, keeping man. us informed. Sorry about the. Um, we just kind of like moved the feet here. You see, there is like a stone platform uh over there you like move the feet here while and, like, while yeah. while rock's trying we to thought, keep talking to dude, us you know. uh, aaron wants to just try fucking smash the watch in uh y as your hand like comes down to the watch like oh no don't do it dude don't do that do you like stop as he says this uh hold on let me let me just check my sheet mm-hmm uh, no, this thing, this thing is not being, like, backed by my hand. This thing is getting a fucking dagger through it. No, dude, don't do- Do you- do you- do you stab it, or, like, do you stop when he asks you to? No, it's just stabbing it all the way through. And he stops. Well. I wonder how the black hole black black donut was. was. Let's get going. The faint Aaron sound Della, if I of a violin. May begins to fill your ears. <laughs> and the two feet next to you, the stone feet that have been moved, begin to rumble in place. And then begin All to right, fly. Uh, right, I guess my question will, will, will be will safe for later. I need everyone. I think to whoever runs the web has a foot fetish. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! I need everyone to roll initiative. That's an ad. I need everyone to roll initiative. Hold on, wait. Oh, the, hold on. The bat. The battle music's gonna kick in in a second. I just sat hold down. I don't know. <laughs> roll uh, initiative. You're getting it. You're getting attacked by the foot fetish. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I still cannot hear either. Wow. Okay. This. This sucks. I don't know why the bot's being like this. Uh, I'm gonna put the initiative order in the VC chat. Um, for everyone to see. Uh, yes, you're fighting the feet. Okay. Zombie, so when we played Fortnite the other night and you were talking about- Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, not at all, actually. Okay. Not at all. If the, I'm if, sorry, if, if, if I'm these, pretty close that. <laughs> if, these, if, if these big stone feet that were fighting us were like paws, I would have had a lot of questions. They're a part of the statue that was here! Oh my god. You're so mean to me. Look, they were in the camera. You can't blame me for looking at character design parts, okay? Jeez. Uh-huh. Shut up, you're all so mean to me. It's okay. We're here with you. Okay, it's a 23, 26. What, uh, what about the rest of you, huh? <laughs> what? No. Two! Squidward, that fuck ass bomb. Uh, it's, it's a four, but I rolled a two on the dice. That's so, that's so silly. Maybe. So far, my initiatives have just been either 
Uh, below 10 or below 10. How the fu- Both of you got threes? <laughs> Who is the higher dex mod? Mod zero? Okay, I assume Arcus yours is higher hey, than zero. I have a one. Okay. <laughs> so you will you will go uh, before Moose. Right. Now that initiative order is set out, your boy needs to piss. Blue, think about your turn and everyone discuss combat strategies. Mine's pretty easy, I hate to tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna be right back. I have this Katoko below Arcus and Moose. Do we have a, a be calm, we calm. do you have a quiz <laughs> channel in here? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had my gun. Also, I would like it to be known. Uh, oh, apparently, oh, Clover got a degree royale while we've been playing D. Let's fucking go. Yeah. That's so funny. I I I I kid I kid you not. During during the whole section with uh, the gnomes getting uh, flamethrowed, I got a fucking. Victory Royale, because I was bored. <laughs> yeah! Kutoko teaches a child math and then disappears, apparently. I need to shower something to me. Yes. Dude, I well, really don't see your... He's in the chore. <laughs> he's <laughs> going pee. My shower is gonna be a lot longer yeah. than zombies piss. I don't know. I don't know. I do know that. Long My shower is for like half an hour. Do you know how long these on these pisses are? Not That's a half an hour. He might be a big pisser, you never know. <laughs> he might be a big beer. Peer pressure, and it's a zombie. I'm gonna start a Hearthstone Arena run. I wanna die. You what? should not start a Hearthstone Arena run. Um, I will not zombie. start a Hearthstone Arena run. <laughs> I'm Are back. you proud of me? I got a victory royale mid-session. How the fuck did you get a- <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I, will say, I will say, I will say, putting- I wanted- I... Go ahead. Sorry. No, you, you go first. I was just saying, we're a little quiet on your stream. Are you? Oh, right. Yeah. I think- Does that mean I have to shout? Wait. Oh, well, I, I went to go- <laughs> I clip. Scream. I went to go make a clip and it was a little- You're a little- we're I think a it's- I think it's because I've turned down my, um- well, no, my audio in- No, that's my audio input capture, not my output capture. Alright, I turned you guys up. Uh, right, okay. let me put all of you <laughs> on the map. So I will say, I'm gonna think- I think I'm gonna start doing something different every time I, uh, do fights like this. Uh, this fight does have an alternate win condition. Survive five it's turns. Touching the feet. No. Uh, right, no. Let me, speaking of, let me get the feet How on. high are the feet? Uh, as they begin to rise off the ground, they rise about 20 feet off the yeah. ground. How about oh, off the of the pedestal? What? Like, if- how far off the pedestal are they? What how tall is the pedestal that they are? They weren't on? sitting on any pedestals, they were just you on the You said they ground. were sitting on a stone plate. No, there is a pedestal that the watch was on. Okay, how tall is the, that pedestal then? Uh, about three feet tall. Okay. Yeah. Well, fuck my entire thing existence then, alright. I'm not quite sure how we're gonna fight them in the air, but... Uh, someone oh, should throw me. They won't be in the air for long. <laughs> Looks at Arendar. Throw me. <laughs> <laughs> throw me. If I keep my turn until after yours... If I keep my turn until after Arendar's and Arendar throw me, am I allowed to do that? I... Held action. Well, hold on. Well, I would also say you could have, uh, Arendal, I'd say you could spend your reaction to give the help action to Blue to throw Blue. I also just want to let it be known, it is getting late. Oh, uh, do we want to, do we want to maybe, uh, leave session off here then and maybe do this? It, it, then as well, we can start combat with fun here as well. True, you're <laughs> right, you're right. Yeah, it's not entirely fair to have. Okay, yeah, we can we can do that. It is getting late. Uh the foot the foot fight will wait until next session. Yeah. Um, it has to wait until tomorrow uh, next week to be defeated. Okay. Uh, all right. You, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're going oh, to not get here next week. Oh, no. we will well, we, won't, we won't do it next week. We'll probably well I don't know. We'll see, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to send you all to Dash Ducks. Everyone oh. in chat. Oh, 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 hold on. Give me hold out. On. Hold on. Uh, radio, radio's live. Ra radio's uh, live. Okay. Radio pen. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. We'll go. We'll go to. They're radio. playing lethal. 
I have so many actual like people I could have chosen. Oh my god! Yeah, kids lethal. also streaming. Lethal, lethal. <laughs> I Lane's have lethal streaming. on board. What? That's crazy. Sorry. Uh, LMD streaming. I'm very Hearthstone. Bro. LMD. I know. I need to unfollow somebody on my Ooh. Twitch server. Uh, right. I'm gonna put <laughs> Augustine on the field for next time. Uh, everyone have a good night. I'll see you all later. Mm. Bye stream. Bye. Bye.